With Michael Brennan here on GPTV, having a look at uh, his runners on Thursday and Friday, and uh, Narragin. Firstly, Nathan's Courage, a very talented three-year-old. Uh, he's got a few little issues off the gate. Have uh, they been ironed out, Mousy? Yeah, they appear to have, Matty. He, um, he trialled very well on Sunday at, at Pinjarra and did a jump out the Wednesday before at Bunbury, and both times was very good. So, um, look, if he goes away, he's going to be very hard to beat. Have you sort of been able to put a finger on what uh, the issues have been with him? He uh, did it once as a two-year-old and then second up this time in, he's uh, broke off the gate. Is it an issue that's worrying you? No, not really. I think it's just he, he can be just a little bit funny behind the gates, but he's, he's settled down a lot now. Um, we've made a few little gear alterations and he's um, nice and relaxed now, which is probably the issue that, that we, biggest issue we have with him. You must be thrilled with uh, how he's come back. He's shown a lot of ability as a two-year-old, but it uh, looks like he's taken that next step that he needed to as a three-year-old. Yeah, he really has developed into a real nice little horse. You know, they don't slip up in 26-7 if, if they don't have ability. Um, you know, he did that comfortably with the earplugs he'd first up. Um, and the form so was very much franked by Campora next time around. So he's an exciting little horse. Um, wh wh whether he gets to the derby, you know, we're hopeful and, and I think he's a chance of that. That's not the only exciting uh, horse you've got in on uh, Thursday at Narragin. You've got two in the Cup, $30,000 in prize money. Uh, the bucket list drawn close to the outside of the front and also this time Dylan's in the event. Uh, both more than capable in this sort of race. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this time Dylan will appreciate the dropping grade. You know, obviously he's been racing in free for all for about the last five years. So he's um, he's an Narragin Cup winner from a few years ago. Um, and, and look, it, the draw probably suits him. And it, he's um, one thing you get with Dylan is you know he's going to be there, be there when the whips are cracking because he's very very honest. And the bucket list, uh, he's he's running the Northern Cup with sensation after missing away. Uh, he would have uh, smashed the track record if he'd won the race, but uh, that would have really made you happy coming into this sort of event. Yeah, look, he's a top quality horse. Um, you know, it's, there's no secret about the, the opinion I have of him. Um, mobile conditions, um, he's not going to be given our ideal act 80 metres this time. You know, he's going to be you know, reasonably close to him. So, look, it'll be up to Mike what he does, whether he, he goes early or comes late. But, um, you know, we haven't, we haven't driven him cold very often and we haven't had the opportunity to. But uh, when he does get driven cold, you'll, you'll see a very talented horse. And we'll move on to Friday. Back on boards in the standing start. This horse is formed numerically. Doesn't really uh, show how quite well he is actually going. It looks a winnable race for him. Yeah, look, if he steps away as good as he has been, he's a chance of finding the rail in front, and um, if that's the case, it'd be very hard to beat. You know, his, his last start was we just put a line through, um, and the two runs before that, a second and a third in town um, behind the leader. So he's, he's going to be thereabouts again, but it's all very much dependent on the start. So he's a decent each-way chance. Would he be, uh, well, he's the only runner on Fridays. Would he be worth an each-way bet? Yeah, he's my best each-way on Friday night, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and your best runner for Thursday and Friday? Oh, look, I think Nathan's Courage very hard to beat, but um, yeah, I wouldn't be afraid to slip into the bucket list either. So decent push for three out of the four. All the best and hopefully uh, a few winners there. Thanks, Matty.